Hi, this is Stan Bush. Hi, this is Stephanie Calvert. This is John Payne. This is Jack Hughes. Hi, I'm Gary Stevens. Hey, everybody. This is Prescott Niles. Hello, I'm Kofi Baker. a couple of the artists that you profile in your book. Uh, chapter two uh, of your book uh, is about Lemmy uh, from Motorhead, which is an immediate attention getter. Uh, anytime someone brings up Lemmy, we have to listen. <laughs> so so please, can you tell us a little bit about, you know, uh, what it was like being around that guy? Because that's a guy, that is a guy who has a very clear legend status, right? You know, what was he like? you know, off stage and maybe away from sort of, you know, all those legendary aspects. Well, Lenny, Lenny was one of the truest gentlemen and true rock stars I've had ever met. Absolutely wonderful guy. Um, he definitely did live that whole rock and roll lifestyle. But, yeah. you know, the thing about Lenny was he was such a nice guy, such a wonderful, friendly person, very intelligent, very witty. Um, you know, he was he 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 respected women absolutely respected women. Oh. You know, he was from the old school. I mean, now people would say, but Lemmy was Lemmy. Like you know, you see the videos again. He's it's a rock and roll thing. But you know, yeah. underneath it, he was a true gen. He 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 was um I, I can't really say you know um so much about it because basically it it, it it sums it all up. A true wonderful human being and uh. And the thing about Lemmy was he, um, when I first interviewed him, was via the phone. And I was warned by other journalists that he was a really tough person to interview oh. because he um, he didn't suffer fools gladly. And if you uh, asked him a stupid question, that was it. You never you would never get an interview with him again. So he yeah. put me through my paces. He absolutely made it so hard for me. But I came up every time with, you know, asking him the, the questions I wanted to ask him in the manner that, um, in the end, he, he uh, really respected it and he and i never forget when he um we finished the interview said to me you know what joe that's one of the best interviews i've ever uh done um and i go oh, gee thank you lemmy and he goes i want to invite you backstage to my show when i turn up in australia in, in later in the year and he kept wow. his promise and basically when he came out he invited me backstage i got to spend an hour with him in his dressing room just himself and i he had the interview I did. He he actually was reading it in front of me. Um, he offered me some, you know, some Jack Daniels, which was yeah, you know, the Lenny drink, and um, yeah, absolutely wonderful guy. And my, my and my chapter goes into that in detail about that. But uh, absolutely wonderful guy, and um, truly missed. I think rock and roll was lost. Yeah, was truly legends in, in music. Yeah, you know, uh, it, the world just doesn't seem to be quite right ever since he passed because. I mean, he, there, there was in 2016, there was a run of, of legendary rock stars who passed away all in a short amount of time. And I remember that he was New Year's Eve 2015, unfortunately. And yeah, uh, I never got a chance to see him in concert. I've only been able to, you know, watch documentaries about him and listen to his records. I was happy to see in your book that you mentioned that uh, you and I have the, fa the same favorite Motorhead song, uh, Killed by Death. That's, that's right. Absolutely. I love that. That video is absolutely fantastic. I, I never forget, you know, watching that video and going, this is so cool, you know? Yeah. Um, okay, I'm going out now. Not like that, you're not. To say, look, Motorhead was the loudest concert I have ever been to in my life, you know. And I've been yeah. to like probably three, four hundred concerts, you know. And um, yeah. and they were at that when I saw Motorhead that year, they were support band to Motley Crue, right? And um, yeah, so Motley Crue were tame compared to yeah. Motorhead. I mean, I had I had um earplugs in my ear, and still my ears were ringing three days later. Oh. <laughs> Oh my! You know I love Miley Crew, but in a just world, those would have been flipped. They they should have been opening for him. In, in my absolutely, I, I agree with you. Um, absolutely, yeah. I think I've, I found the uh, Motley Crew concert a bit actually, uh, as I said, tame and sort of boring compared to Motorhead, yeah. which was like full on energy and like yeah, you know. Sure. 